Hey folks, <laughs> hey folks, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. As you can hear, I'm not sounding, I'm feeling, I'm feeling fine. I'm not sounding very good. I've got a little bit of a bug, uh, but it doesn't matter. I feel well enough to do a video and we still got to cook and eat and live, right? Today is the last video, last video in our student meal month. We've already had the amazing fish pie. We've already had those sticky chicken thighs and this is an easy peasy bacon pasta. It is so cheap and so filling and so yummy. You really must give it a go. I feel like my voice is gonna break, like when I was a teenager again. Uh, and also feel like I could do a movie trailer. But anyhow, if you'd like to have a go, hit pause on the video, write down all of these ingredients. You really, really, really must do this. It's so good. My top tip for this recipe, guys, just like all the videos I do, is to actually just prep and get literally, as if you're doing your own cooking show, right? On the telly, whatever. Just prep everything and it just makes cooking so much easier. So chopping up your onions and your garlic and getting your pan of water ready just makes life so, so much easier. The first thing you need to do is get your saucepan of water onto boil, then get a separate frying pan, add in some oil to get it nice and hot, and then we start to add in our bacon. You add that in and cook it through for around about three or four minutes. They're just shards of bacon that I just uh, actually snipped away with scissors. If you can use food scissors and get away with it, it's amazing. So little like strands of bacon in there, cooking up, and then we follow up by adding in our onions, okay? So stirring those through too, get it all nice and softened up. Then we give it a real color and flavor boost by adding in some paprika, real smokiness on there. I'm using smoked bacon anyway, that's smoked paprika. Mm. And also some garlic cloves that I've just chopped up Get it all cooked through and let it simmer away. You wanna dump in both these pots of chopped tomatoes in there. And of course, while that's happening, get it all stirred around and simmering away. Your pasta should be cooking to package instructions. I've gotta say the smell in here while that was cooking is incredible. This dude, I didn't realize he could do it, but he was actually flaring his nostrils. He's going, what was that, weren't you? Yeah. We're really just simmering off that pasta to try and get rid of some of that moisture to make it nice and thick and clingy to that sauce. Tip in some frozen peas, the heat from the pan will warm them through and it will really add some depth to the dish. Once your pasta is all cooked, simply drain it off and then dump it into your pan with that sauce and just mix it through very gently to coat it and get it all pretty much done. Yeah, that's it done. And when it comes to, when it comes to serving it up, you want to get yourself a nice dish Spoon a good old heap on there, get it really nice and full with some of that topping on top. A darn good sprinkling of freshly grated parmesan all on there and a little sprig of fresh basil to completely finish it. And I promise you, this is so cheap. It's one of the best dishes I've made this year. I really hope you give it a go. If you do, send me a picture at My Virgin Kitchen. Let me know down below what recipe you want to see next. And you can check out my last two videos, which are on the screen right here. I'm going to go... Um, then I try and get a new voice on eBay, I think. eBay. See you later.